you know, I, I know a bit about Quicksilver. We have a little bit of a history we were going into yep. before with uh, loving the idea of detoxification, but I never quite got the story of how Quicksilver started because you've been around for a while. This is not yeah. a new company. I know it's blowing up in many ways, and that's great to see. But can you give us the story behind the company? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of long, <laughs> but I'm going to keep it short here. But it's just like, how long have I been in natural health? And I was in undergraduate world and, quite frankly, took a bunch of acid and changed my mind heavily <laughs> about what I thought about nature and medicine. You know, I was very sort of atheistic and, mm. you know, Western and, you know, saw a plant speaking to me. And I was like, I think I'm totally wrong. <laughs> and I left school and I was a biodynamic farmer. Wow. And yeah, I mean, I started into that in the late, late eighties, early nineties. And I joked that I went out of it the year Whole Foods came around, you know, there was no money. And so I had this, you know, insight in the connectedness of all of nature and, and in farming, you know, how you build the microbiome of the soil. That whole idea of the microbiome is way older than functional medicine, you know, getting into probiotics. That was how we did everything in organic and biodynamic farming. And, you know, but I wasn't making any money. And so I did a couple of things and I ended up going back to school looking at agricultural pollution first uh, for my master's. And then on my PhD, I found it just kind of a boring story. I was doing it at Illinois and uh, ended up with this guy who was looking at the global biogeochemistry. That's like how toxins circulate all through the biosphere and the geosphere uh, of mercury. And I got a PhD uh, and my PhD thesis and a patent that came out of it were all around separating different forms of mercury. So you can look at the organic forms that you get from fish, the inorganic forms that are from geology or from your dental amalgams and people. And got that, then started my company. I did a little bit of environmental testing. And then in our last recession in 2008-9, I jumped into health and applied that testing to health. I had early luminaries like Dietrich Klinghart and Hal Huggins, use it. these are the original mercury toxicity guys, take me under their wing. They started using my products and my testing. Well, first the testing, and then I developed the first products. I was like, if I'm going to show this, I got to get it out. You know, along the way, you know, I had 17 amalgams and I'm like, yeah, why do I get sick every time I travel? Every time my kids get sick, why am I tired? You know, I got an active brain, but the body can't support it all the time. And so I developed the first stuff for pulling mercury out to the GI. Now I did this because I used all those key letters. I was using the DMSA and DMPS. I almost killed myself with that stuff because I didn't open up the organs of elimination. I didn't support the cellular levels of detox. So I was just stirring up that pot and the first product I made was like putting a chelator on a little sand grain and then eating it. So it goes through the GI and grabs all the metals there. That opens up that flow out of the liver, down to the GI, takes the pressure away from the kidneys where the chelators are putting it and just opened up everything up. That fixed me in a couple of weeks. And there, the next step that really got us to where we are was uh, how do I get glutathione into the system? Mm. And that led me to liposomes and then nano emulsions as these ways to cheat absorption, get intraoral absorption, upper GI absorption, where you may not have transporters or you may have enzymes that break things down. Then I could get glutathione into the system for a cellular level and I had the binder there. And then there was development from there to understand the flow of the liver and how bile brings everything out and that building up the whole system. So we have these large detox protocols applied to chronic disease, applied to general health and applied to longevity. Now, I'm guessing that Quicksilver is a reference to Mercury and not the Marvel superhero, correct? Yeah. Okay. yeah, and not the surfwear brand. So Quicksilver yes. is the old European word. Mm -hmm. uh, in Germany, it was Quacksalber. And actually, any medical person who used mercury in medicine was called a quack. <laughs> Funny now that like quack watch and stuff, if you yep. detox mercury, you're called a quack. Crazy how that changes. But yep. quick means liquid, fast, moving, flowing, and then mercury. I mean, silver. And so instead of being hard silver, it's fluid silver. In Japanese, it's suijin, which means water silver. 